Hello, today I'm gonna to be speaking with you on interest rates and how they impact you. And so out of all the videos I've ever recorded so far this year, I think this is gonna be the one that applies to everyone regardless of what your income is and regardless of uh, whether you're investing or saving or borrowing, it just impacts you across the board with what interest rates are doing. And for those of you who are probably older than uh, age 30, 35 or so, you're probably aware that interest rates used to be a lot higher than we've seen recently. Uh, but over the last 10 years or so, they've been artificially at super low rates, which has made it a lot easier, a lot more affordable to uh, spend more money and not have to pay as much in interest for the things that we're doing. That time has been changing and, and you may have started to notice it, but interest rates have been steadily creeping up for the last two years and that's going to have a dramatic impact. I'm going to cover a couple of the basics of why interest rates uh, act the way they are, how they're set and things of that nature and how they may impact you. So let's dive in here and I might have to move my video around from time to time uh, to make sure you're able to see everything. So as far as the basics of interest rates, what happens is there's a, a government entity that's called uh, the Federal Reserve and they set uh, a federal funds rate. And what that is, is they're basically telling banks, basically they have a minimum amount that those banks have to keep safe and on reserve uh, with the Federal Reserve. It's kind of like for you, if you have a minimum balance uh, that you have to maintain at your bank, that's kind of how that works. But uh, the Federal Reserve tells the banks that if you don't have these funds and you need to lend among yourselves, the federal funds rate is what you guys are able to charge each other. And so that's kind of something that, although it doesn't mean necessarily that interest rates are going to go up or down based off the federal federal funds rate, it has been a big indicator and it's usually what a lot of other interest rates are going to be uh, somewhat based off of, even if it's not directly correlated. So uh, that amount that those banks lend to each other is kind of considered an inner uh, bank lending rate, um, also known as the FUD, federal funds rate, and uh, how that impacts you. So when, once it gets to you, there's a couple of things that happen. So uh, funds that you have on deposit at a bank, you may receive interest on that. And so uh, that's money that you receive from the bank in terms of interest that way. So that, that helps if rates are going up, you might get a little bit more interest back. Um, but where it does not help as much if rates are going up is how much you pay back to the bank for anything that you're borrowing. And so as you can see, uh, the bank needs to make money. They have to be profitable and, and that's understandable. Um, some, some banks charge more than others as far as interest rates go. So you always do want to shop around at least to a couple locations, make sure that you're not uh, way off from where a competitive rate would be as far as what you're borrowing. Um, but as you can see, I have arrows going both ways. That arrow going towards you is going to be smaller than the arrow going back to uh, that bank uh, or financial institution. And so, again, how that impacts you a little bit further, and I'll move my video really quick so you can see, see everything here. Um, we have a, a wide range of things that you may deal with throughout your lifetime and, and even just throughout the next year. So savings account, if you have any type of savings account, uh, the interest rates have been pretty minimal on that. They're still not growing as fast. So you might be getting a little bit more than 0.5% currently, but probably not too much more than that. Um, so that's what you would receive on savings account balances in terms of interest. Uh, you may have bond investments in your portfolio and your 401k, uh, or other types of investments. And so an example of how interest rates impact uh, bond rates is, I, I just threw an example of a 10-year treasury. So although the, the federal funds rate doesn't set what those rates are gonna be, again, it's kind of um, reactive and um, somewhat correlated to what the federal funds rate is. So if the federal funds rate goes up, then it's more likely that you'll see other rates start to increase as well. Um, so that rate is 2.87%, uh, where, where it's going to be really painful if rates continue to rise. Right now, uh, mortgage loans are at 4.75% for about a 30-year loan. So uh, if you just look, two years ago was about 3.75%, so it's a pretty rapid increase. And, and we're talking about large sums of money that you could be borrowing, $300,000, $400,000. And so at, as the interest rate goes up, it's going to have a bigger impact on what you can afford and, and the cost to you in the end. Um, Looking at auto loan rates, uh, those are floating about 4.95%. And a few years ago, it was about four years ago now when I was working at the credit union, when I'd help people with 
auto loans, they could have been getting uh, rates as low as like 2.5%, 2.75%. So uh, those have increased dramatically in the last four years. And then credit card rates. So uh, those are always going to be the highest in, in terms of uh, borrowing and lending um, when it comes to that. And so 13.65%, super, super expensive. And that's not even the highest. There, there, you may have a, a store credit card with a 22% or 24% interest rate. Um, credit card rates can be extremely high. 13.65% just happens to be the average uh, according to bank rate. When I pulled that up on December 5th, 2018. So what's the biggest threat to you with rising rates? Uh, the, the biggest thing is for your current debt that you already have, if they're variable interest rates, then that means that uh, those funds that you've already borrowed are going to be even more expensive now than what you originally thought. So um, pretty common variable interest rates are with credit cards. So if you started with a credit card at 10% and you were carrying a balance and you, know, you figured it was fine that 10% wasn't too expensive uh, for your situation, uh, but now let's say they start to creep up and they're going to be 15% and you're still carrying that same balance, uh, that's really expensive, a lot more expensive than what you were previously paying for borrowing those funds. Uh, but you've already borrowed them, so it's not like it's really easy for you to pay them back. Otherwise, you probably would have at this point. So that's that's going to be impactful where uh, you're going to be paying a lot more than you expected on things that you've already decided to borrow on. Um, there's other rates that are called fixed rates. Those are going to be more common with uh, mortgages and auto loans. But what happens with that is anything that you have current debt and fixed rates, those aren't going to go up. So you're not going to be impacted in those uh, since instances. But uh, moving forward, any future borrowing that you're going to do is going to be a lot more costly than uh, if you would have uh, had that fixed rate sooner than than when interest rates are starting to rise here. And so that <laughs> you see the little emoji guy with uh, mind blowing, um, but yeah, just even small differences, one percent, two percent shifts in interest rates can make a dramatic difference in the cost. And if you don't react accordingly uh, that could have a dramatic impact on your kind of wealth building potential and here's just a, a quick quote that i i feel very strongly about using is if you're able to properly use that it can mean the difference between building wealth or destroying it so um there's there's ways you can use debt in a more uh, effective and more efficient manner where it could actually help you build wealth uh, but improperly using it can definitely destroy wealth and, and it's one of the things that will keep you from ever getting ahead. So lastly, um, I, I enjoy making strategy guides and thinking outside the box for my clients. And I just wanted to say that uh, life is easier with the strategy guide. So let me know if I can ever help you navigate uh, your path to uh, achieving your goals. And I know there's a lot of trade-offs that we all have to uh, deal with, but sometimes it's not easy to decide what which path to go down. And that's where I enjoy helping my clients. Uh, feel free to reach out. The first 30 minutes are always going to be free. And uh, I always have uh, free content on my site in addition to like these videos as well. So uh, if you're not ready to work with anyone yet, uh, feel free to kind of have a do-it-yourself mentality, but dig in and, and really start making changes to uh, your financial well-being. And it's going to have compounding effects for your future. Appreciate it. Have a great day.